my channel if you're new here my name is Bailey and in today's video I am doing a little bit of a day in the life I'm actually in Mooresville right now I'm um, doing something exciting that really no one really knows about except for like a couple of my friends it's not that big of a deal but I am getting a tattoo today so I'm getting my second tattoo today so I'm really excited about that I thought I would take you guys along for me today um, I'm doing that um, and then later today, Dolly has her last progesterone to check and see if she ovulated so we can breed her in the next couple of days. So it's just going to be a fun little day in the life. I'm going to try to just take you guys along with me. So if you're new here and you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. It means the world to me when you guys subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'm going to get ready, go in, and get tatted. Alright guys, so real quick before I run into the tattoo shop, I just kind of wanted to show you guys kind of what I'm getting. So this is Matt's vow book from our wedding day. It's our wedding date down there, and I am getting his handwriting tattooed on me. i got to find the page. So, yeah, I'm getting this I Love You right there in his handwriting from our vow book, or his vow book from our wedding day tattooed on me. So, that's what I'm getting done. I'm really excited. I just got out of the tattoo shop. I had such a great experience. Her name is Shelby. Her Instagram is at Inked by Shelby. I'll leave it linked down below as well as her website. It was such a blast. So much fun. She was so easy to talk to and it was so much like just a really good time. I had a lot of fun um, and it didn't hurt like hardly at all. Um, the only part that hurt is her like rubbing it with alcohol um, but for the most part it didn't hurt at all. So here it is. Let's see if you can see that. You can't see that great. Let me turn you around. Yeah, so here it is. It's Matt's handwriting. It says, I love you. Like you guys saw earlier, it's from the vow book I got. It only took an hour, so not long at all. I really like where I got it at, like the placement, because I wear my watch right there, if you can see, like, the self-tan line for my watch. Um, so, yeah, really obsessed with it. I love it. I'm super excited to surprise Matt with it. He did find out I'm in Morsel, but I lied to him. I think he's on on to me like he knows something's up because he checked my location because I didn't answer the phone so I'm going to surprise him today when he gets home from work and see what he thinks I might go to his work and surprise him but it wouldn't be as fun so I'm going to wait I'm going to wait but I don't want to wait I'm super excited to sh show him and surprise him we'll see what he thinks he's either going to be like what the heck like we've talked about this before he knows I've wanted to get this done um, I wanted to get it done together in Nashville just randomly but he kind of wants to get something like a full piece, like tattoo art, plus something for me. Um, so he didn't want to just get something simple like I did. And I was just honestly kind of tired of waiting. And I felt like we're going into fall. Summer's kind of over. It's a great time to get something done. So that's why I went ahead and chose to get it done because I was kind of tired of waiting. And I've been wanting another tattoo. So we'll see what he does later and see what he says i hope he is excited though and i hope he loves it i'm sure he will um but now i'm going to go get some food and then head back home and then get the rest of our day going all right guys i just made it home i didn't show you guys because i was on the phone with one of my breeder friends for like over an hour but i got chick-fil-a i got their spicy southwest salad that's like one of my favorite things to get there and a tea which is always good made at home like I said um it is looking good still it's bubbled up a tad bit from like where my skin's like I don't know how it's not bleeding but you know it's kind of there's no good word to say like to explain what's going on but you know I hope you know what I'm saying I don't want to say like it's juicing that's disgusting it's just like oozing which is still a disgusting word a little bit but 
not terrible. So I'm home now. I'm going to go let the dogs out to play for a second. And then I'm going to sit down and work on a little bit of something. I'll kind of tell you guys once I get done or like sat down to do that. And then me and Dolly have to go to the vet around 2.50 for our 3.30 appointment. We are checking her ovulation or her progesterone to make sure she ovulated. She was a 4.32 today. Ovulation is a 5. So they're assuming she ovulated either yesterday or through the night. Um, and then we will get confirmation to breed hopefully Wednesday and Friday. So yeah, I'm super excited about that, but I'm going to go in here, get the dogs let out, and then I'll chat with you guys a little bit more. All right, guys, I'm home. I realized I did not film letting the dogs out. You got Dolly in her diaper, Harlo, Jagger, Ellie in her diaper. She's not being bred. Don't get confused. She's just going through her first heat. Miss Indy in her cone, Willow. So everybody's here. Let them all out, and I'm about to sit down and work on my computer. For a bit, it's 1.30. I have to leave for the bed around 2.50, so I've got some time, and I really need to do some work on my computer. I also want to try and make the reel for my Instagram um, of me getting my tattoo, so I'm going to try to like strip Matt's words um, from our, his vows and put it over the video as well. Um, so I'm going to work on that. I'll probably post that, like I can post it, you know, right now. Well, I'm going to post it after I post Matt's reaction because I'm going to film that for the vlog too so i'll film that later but yeah i'm gonna get some computer work done harlot look at her counter surfing no ma'am i'm gonna get some computer work done and then i'll catch you the eyes in a little bit the vet me and dolly about to take her in it shouldn't take longer than like a few minutes all they do is take her back for a blood draw run her progesterone and then they'll call me within like an hour or two just to confirm that her numbers have risen above a five that means she has ovulated which means her eggs have dropped and then we wait around 24 hours for them to fertilize so technically if she would had ovulated yesterday we would breed tomorrow so we are going to be breeding her tomorrow fingers crossed everything goes well with mr finn i'm going to try to possibly vlog that as well we will see but yeah that's kind of why we do the progesterone and everything so i'm gonna get out get her out she's kind of a little anxious right now that she's ready to get out and then catch up with you guys once we get back nolly you smell that say cheese the lighting all right guys that literally took my point was at 3 30 it's 3 36 i'm already back in the car they drew her blood we also went ahead and scheduled her ultrasound for 30 days from ovulation which we're 99 sure was yesterday so october 19th is when we will confirm her pregnancy go ahead and start sending up the prayers send up the good vibes because i'm gonna need it obviously that all matters if she ties tomorrow and friday but we're fingers crossed and blessing up that that happens as well so let's hope but dolly's back here now we're gonna head home and i'm probably going to let the dogs outside for a little bit play for a little bit and then i'm going to be making dinner and then hopefully by the time dinner's almost done matt will get home and we can show him the tap so catch you guys in a little bit all right guys we made it home outside there's harla jagger ellie dolly hi dolly uh -uh. no jumping willow ivy ivy and indy are over there come here they're playing they're hanging out come on come on they love to go out there and run around So it's September 20th today and we were having quite a bit of fall weather but recently it's kind of hit back into summer weather so it's a bit toasty today. I think it's almost 90 degrees today in North Carolina so it's definitely not fall yet but we're getting ready for fall and getting excited. Let me show you guys my front porch that I did because I decorated it for fall and it's really cute. All right the dogs all think I'm going in but I'm not but here's the cute setup I've got for fall. I've got my home thing I always have these are my fall wreaths I've got cute little mums burgundy mums which are my favorite color I've got this 
grayish green pumpkin, this really weird looking pumpkin. My papa picked that one out. I've got my typical rugs that I always have and then I've got another fall colored mom and then some cute little pumpkins over here. So that's kind of my little fall setup. I think it's looking pretty cute. What do you think, bub? Oh, no, that was a head shake, Jagger. What do you think? What do you think, Jagger? Bubby. Very pretty, Mom. Very pretty. All right, guys, before I left for the vet with Dolly, I was working on her aftercare, like, little thing for her guardian family so they know, like, everything to do, when to worry, uh, limit, limiting exercise, grooming, like, just giving them all the info that they're gonna need after Dolly is bred. So I want, sorry the lighting is really yellow, but I want to provide this for them so there's not many questions. Obviously if there is questions, they are always able to reach out to me and ask whatever questions they may need, um, call me, whatever, but I don't want them to kind of go into this blind. So that's why I'm creating this little cheat sheet to kind of tell them like, this is what you should be doing, this is what is concerning, not concerning, normal. So they kind of know what to expect over the next couple months with Dolly being bred and hopefully, fingers crossed, baby's growing inside of her. So I'm going to continue to work on that and kind of finish it and then once I get done, um, it's 4.30 right now, I'll probably start dinner around 5.15. So I'll catch up with you guys once I'm cooking dinner. Today I'm getting a tattoo. This is gonna be my second tattoo and it's for my husband Matt, but I didn't tell him, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me and getting the tattoo and show you. I wish I could so, say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will you, baby. Me for a pass. I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this page much later it's 10 30 now as you saw i cooked dinner we watched our show we're currently watching the last kingdom on netflix super good and we're on season three and it's getting even better my tattoo is looking like this now as you can see it kind of looks all blurred together because the what's that called i don't know it's normal let's just say that it's just kind of oozing a little bit but I'm going to go ahead in today's vlog, so if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, as well as hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! <music>